I'm gonna go ahead and film myself spraying. I'm just picking up the garden hose, hitting it. This is probably more pressure than you'd get in a rain, but I wanna be sure that this thing is working properly. So, it looks like I've still got a leak. All right, guys. Uh, taking a look at this back glass leaking problem. The other day I was cruising along, my boys were porting drops back here on this back seat. Here, 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 uh, and some over here. So I might've went overboard, but I'm just gonna tell you a little bit of what I did to solve the problem. Because as of now, I've taken it through a uh, high pressure car wash. I've also so let it sit on the rain, I got no water. So what you're gonna wanna do is, you're gonna wanna pop, 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 pop those four airbag covers. And what it's gonna reveal is a screw. Screw's a T20. Easiest way I've found is to get one of these handy dandy uh, attachments for your drill and I'm just going to pop them out. All right once they're out now you're just going to want to pull these away from the uh, headliner. I'll show you here in a minute once I get it popped out. There's about four clips you just need to pull it out. All right once your four clips are out you want to uh, disconnect it here. Now once you do that it's just going to look like this. Just let it hang. Again, I've already done this. I'm trying to make the video to help out anybody else who's getting some leakage and who uh, thinks they might be able to do it better than the guys at the dealership. So, about to do the other side. Check back in here in a second. Now that you've got both sides off, you want to go ahead and pull down the headliner. You want to take care with this lip here. You might have to bend it a bit. You might have to pull it down past the rubber over here. All right, now that you've got it down, you can get underneath here. And I found that my leak was happening right under here. Right under this glass. I don't know if you see where that silicone is. I went ahead and just ran a bead right there and uh, smushed it up in there with my finger. Honest to God, stop the problem. So it took me a while to figure out where the water was coming in. I noticed I was getting a couple drops in through the back. It wasn't the third brake light, even though I went ahead and bulletproofed that as well. I used this product uh, to uh, form a better gasket on my third brake light. You can see it's been raining. I went ahead and filled that gap as well with just GE black 100% silicone. Now, you might be the kind of person that doesn't want to mess with this. Like, by all means, take it back to the dealer. But uh, I figured I'd give a crack at it. I put nut zerts in for each of these screws as well.
We've got four um, nut zert inserts. I'll tell you the size here in a second. Um, and we're going to be using a machine screw, uh, roughly the same diameter as the uh, uh, machine bolt. Uh, roughly the same diameter as that uh, screw that was holding these in. We're going to go ahead and swap the little washer, silicone washer, so it'll keep the water out there. Um, I'm going to grab the third brake light with the new, thicker weather stripping. Change from screws to machine bolts. Crank that sucker down. No water. 